Hello there, my name is James. Welcome to my channel Gear Solid. In this video, I'm going to be talking about certain 3D softwares that you would have to um, consider as a 3D artist if you want to work big, make more money from it, or take your skills to another level if you feel the need to add another one to your current everyday software use. Now, I would be listing out both their strongholds and weaknesses and what each of them is really good at so you know which one to go in for if you are now contemplating on getting into this field. Now, through the production pipeline, you would certainly have to deal with either 3D modeling, compositing, video editing, still images, and audio. And all these um, many others make up the whole production. Now, the softwares I'm about to mention are in accordance as to which one is um, best or worst. They are all good, depending on the person behind the software. And, what they really want to achieve with it. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about Maya. Maya is by far the industry standard 3D modeling software. It gets complicated if you are new to it, but I have to say it isn't as difficult as you might imagine it or maybe head of. Now, looking at the kind of plugins and scripts built in Maya, it makes this software hard to neglect if you want to take this business seriously. Now, Maya by far has the most friendly user interface if you ask me. If you want to do 3D modeling, texturing, um, rigging and rendering, then Maya should be the way to go. Aside all these, Maya does a lot. I mean, anything a 3D artist could think of, this software is just ready for you. Personally, I would list Regen as Maya's main stronghold. No other software does Regen better than Maya, in my opinion. If you know any other software that does better Regen than Maya, um, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Now, to talk of features, Maya is super packed, okay? Particles, hair, solid, body fixes, fluid, clothes, simulation, and character animation, amongst a um, few others. There's even a chance you might not use most of Maya's functionalities until you, let's say, die or something. I know most users out there would want to ask questions like, why do people use Maya amongst all them softwares? Personally, I use Maya because of one particular reason. Updating and correcting previous source files. Updating and correcting previous source files. This advantage it has over other 3D modeling softwares is what actually keeps me on Maya when working on huge projects with um, closer deadlines. And I think most people actually use Maya for the same reason. Now, for those of you who don't know what correcting previous source file is, let me give you a scenario. Let's say you created and rigged a character, processed it through um, a sequence and rendered it. You rendered it. Later on, you realize there is a problem with one of your previous steps. Other softwares that I know would require you to start all over again, but Maya handles it differently. All you have to do is redo the previous source file. That's it. Very easy. No need to start all over again. Now moving on, let's talk about its quirks. My number one problem with this software will be modeling and modifying hundreds of characters quickly and efficiently. This particular issue that I just mentioned isn't a thing in Maya. It's very slow and very complicated. I would speak more about this when I get to um, Houdini. Just keep watching and also kindly don't forget to subscribe. My number two issue is going to be lighting. Maya's layout for lighting isn't good. It's just poor, so much so that if I need to drop a light in a confined area or subject, you just have to do too much to get it done. It's boring and makes you feel lazy. I bet if you're a rookie, this single problem might make you quit using this software and try other stuff like rapping, dancing, or singing. My third problem is going to be its reference editor. Very buggy at times and not stable at all. Every software has um, bug issues, but where people place Maya, I can't stand um, its bugs. Now, if you are willing to resolve this reference editor um, buggy situation, then you would have to throw in a lot of money to get it resolved for you just for you and nobody else I mean autodesk can do better okay so doing away with maya i would say if you want to work in bigger um, studios across the globe then you can't get there without knowing anything about maya 
Also, most of them studios out there only employ Maya users, which is very sad. Okay, so let's talk about its price. Maya has a one year free plan, which is cool. For every semester, you would be enrolled with an .edu profile package. Also, indie filmmakers get to use a light version of Maya, which is very cheap for both pros and beginners who don't or aren't willing to throw in the huge sums that a complete version is demanded. Okay, so my next software is Houdini. Now, ask me why most artists don't go close to Houdini. This software is a hard nut to crack. I don't know how best I can talk somebody into using um, Houdini, whether an absolute beginner or even a pro who is wanting to try another 3D software. All of them don't seem to like Houdini. Houdini is one of the big guys out there for you if you want to go all out into 3D imagery. This software's node-based procedural approach provides its users with an unprecedented um, level of power, flexibility and control. The main advantage Houdini has over them other software's is stability, complexity and depth of available tools. When it comes to shattering, distraction, commotion, anything that has to do with let's destroy it right now. Houdini is the main guy for this job. It's also by far the best in simulation, realistic visual effects, smooth, liquids and other particles you can imagine of. If you need a software for modeling or modifying hundreds and thousands of characters quickly, then Houdini is the best way to go. Don't forget I made mention of this as Maya's weakness in the beginning. Yeah, Houdini handles it without any struggle. Most game studios who work on more characters also use Houdini because of its ability to model and modify hundreds of characters quickly. Let's take for instance EA, EA Sports to the game. This is the main software EA uses on their sports games when they need to modify hundreds and thousands of players in a day instead of months. Great software but it also has its major challenges. Let me list a few um, for you. When it comes to modeling and setting up keyframes, it doesn't get easy for this software. I'm not going to um, complete this list without mentioning its archaic user interface. Weird interface and too, too old. Now you get most users modeling and keyframing in other softwares before dropping and continuing Houdini like um, let's say Maya. Most users uh, model and keyframe in Maya and then drop it into Houdini and then continue with whatever that they want to do. Every software has its strength and weakness. Switching between softwares to get your work done can be a bit of work at times but hey, it's not a bad practice. Now let's get down to its price. Houdini FX offers Houdini Apprentice, a free version of Houdini where you don't get to enjoy the full package. You don't get to enjoy the full package but hey, if you are a student, a beginner, or someone who just wants a new hobby, then um, the Apprentice version is for you. Okay, so the third software on my list is going to be ZBrush. I know most of you out there use ZBrush. It's by far the best sculpting software. By far the best sculpting software. If you think there's a sculpting software that does sculpting better than ZBrush, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll check it out. Most character designs are mostly done in ZBrush. That's a fact. ZBrush is a standalone sculpting and modeling software which is best suited for the creation of organic forms. Its workflow and user interface isn't that easy to learn. Like any other software, if it's difficult, just use it all the time if you want to be great at it. You master your craft by doing something continuously. Now somebody might ask, so apart from sculpting and modeling, what else can ZBrush be used for? UV maps, paint and textures, which gives artists the power to create entire figures with clothing props ready to be rendered. Now my best advice to any character designer out there is if you are someone who wants a high level of detail in sculpting, then ZBrush should be your number one um, choice. Now, with ZBrush, I'm not going to go into its pricing and other stuff. I'll leave it down here so you can check it out. And also, all the software that I mentioned, I'm going to leave a link 
to their pages so you can check them out if you are interested okay so let's move on to my last software on the list blender blender if you are looking for a free 3d modeling software then blender is by far the best in the free category maybe you've wondered why such a powerful software is free i've also thought the same too but hey what's better than having a free vacation in gaza no no hawaii let's maintain hawaii for now i won't be wrong if i'm to place blender on the same level with maya 3ds max or cinema 4d it's capable of doing almost anything these softwares can do including compositing compositing hey let me tell you something blender is good the only problem here is most big houses aren't using it and it's a little difficult if you are working with a group of people and you realize the kind of software um, you are using singles you out of the team it simply means if you come across any problem there will be no one to help you this doesn't make blender a bad software or least of a choice no it's just a disadvantage that the society has created blender is open source and does very well in modeling game developers are also using um, this software which is a good thing i can confidently tell you that day in day out thousands of people are jumping onto it there are tons of tutorials on youtube and so many courses out there just like any other software that i've mentioned above look there are many softwares out there that i can speak on for instance cinema 4d best in motion graphics visualization illustration very stable and easy to use it doesn't do too good when it comes to character designing and rigging that's just my take also there is 3d max i didn't talk about 3d max because it's for pc users only best for video games and vfx architecture interior and exterior design and hard surface modeling if you are a pc user then you can try 3d max if you want it's a little arcade in everything though but it still gets the job done there are other softwares like Modu, Daz, Lightwave, Hexagon so many of them softwares out there that you can try at your own convenient time now if your main goal as a VFX student is to work in bigger studios across the globe then don't forget the main softwares I have listed um, um, as my top four also be flexible at least have two or three other softwares that you can use if the occasion demands i always tell my colleagues i don't trust people who are stuck on one thing and aren't interested in adding up more to what they already know their works are boring learn more and make it big hey i'm done so um there are so many videos that i'll be adding up if you've loved this video so far kindly don't forget to give me a sub until my next video peace out easy Easy.